Hey, what's up, YouTube? Listen, I thought I'd take a break from being a gaming nerd and try and be an outdoorsman nerd, all right? So I got this offset smoker for Christmas from my best friend, which I really appreciate, all right? So here it is. Now, I am a noob. This is my first smoker. And yeah it's not going so well i can't manage a fire i've been watching other youtube videos to try and help um but basically if you're like me and money is an issue try and get the expensive stuff because that will help because i went cheap and it is crap okay listen if you can afford a real axe i would go for a real axe I went cheap, went to Walmart, and got this little dinky thing, okay? This thing don't do nothing. All right. So what we're going to do, what I was trying to do was cut this big old log here. See that? A big old log I was trying to cut into smaller pieces, and that little axe is worthless okay listen all right so i got this here hickory wood mini logs okay if they think these are bloody mini look how big this thing is that is not mini okay it needs to be like half that size if it's gonna be mini and then uh so today we are gonna be smoking with those big old logs. I also, for, well, see, I'm all over the place. This is why it's not working out too well. I'll tell you what we're smoking in a bit, all right? But I use this Royal Oak 30 pound bag of hardwood lump charcoal. What you wanna do is, or what I've been doing, I don't know, Again, I'm learning on YouTube too, so I'm just trying to help out, you know. You want a bed of charcoal, you want to get a chimney. Okay, chimneys are this this thing, okay? Get a chimney, fill it with the lump charcoal. Let it go, because my first time, I didn't let it go long enough. You want to make sure the fire is up above that chimney and the top charcoal is turning white. And then, as you can see, well, not right now, but when I put it down there, see, it's kind of like that. You got those red embers at the bottom and the charcoal is turning white on top. That's what you want whenever you want to dump your chimney out. To start my chimney, I use this tumbleweed, natural wood. Man, I tell you what, that thing gets the job done, okay? It starts that beauty mess, okay? To you, right now. Now I'm gonna tell you what we're smoking, all right? We're gonna do a simple rub on this here. pork spare ribs all right all i did was black pepper and pink himalayan salt that's all i did we are also gonna do let me get it for you some ribeye pork chop family pack we're also gonna do a rack of lamb I'm gonna learn how to smoke some salmon, all right? I got this little package, and I got this bloody freaking big old package at $23, all right? If I mess this up, that's $23 down the drain, and my wife's gonna poop a brick, okay? There we go. Also, I'm gonna do some Johnsonville bratwurst, all right? Because I don't know of any other brand. Oh, stop it. 
All right, we got Cheddar Brats. And we got Buffalo Blue Brats. All right, it's Buffalo style with Monterey Jack and blue cheese. It sounds delicious. All right, and what else we got is right in there. Look. Looks pretty gross, right? Well, if you're not used to organ meats, then yes, it's gross. So I'm going to be using my cast iron skillet using some avocado oil. That's all I'm going to do for those. Those are rabbit kidneys and hearts. All right, so I soaked them in salt water overnight. I'm still soaking them right now because I had a late night, so don't judge me. Yes. Uh, so yeah, they're still soaking, but here in a little bit, I'm going to take them out. And I'm going to rinse off that excess salt because you don't want your food that salty. You know, it's, it's salt is good for like a boost in flavor. But if it's too salty, you're just going to... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, okay. So, you rinse off the excess salt. And what I was taught was with the kidneys and the hearts and the organ meat is like... The salt water kind of takes away that nickel flavor and uh, that way when you're cooking it, it doesn't really taste like pennies, you know, because some of that organ meat just has all that blood in it. So it kind of takes away that blood and that nickel flavor and you don't taste pennies for dinner, you know, all right. Hey, I will check back with you later. I'm going to do multiple videos because, I, again, I am new at this. And I don't know how to edit videos. So, I do multiple videos. So, this is part one. Okay? Part one. I don't know why I had my finger way over here when you guys can't see it. But, part one. You guys take it easy. These ribs are going to cook for about nine hours. Is what I've been learning. Okay? Nine hours... The rack of lamb is going to take about an hour to an hour and a half. And the pork chops, I have no idea. I'm just going to wing it. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Oh, and we're going to be smoking some grilling beans. Bush's grilling beans. Today we are going to do steakhouse recipe. All right. Oh, and I made my own barbecue sauce. I will show you that in the next video too, if I don't forget. Again, stop judging me! See you guys!